Hi guys, welcome back to Black Acre Ranch. I'm Sharla and we're getting some stuff done. Clean up the property and check in on the baby piggies. So stay with us. Hi piggies. <laughs> All right, so it's been a few days. We've had a few adventures with them. Yesterday morning when we came to check on them, they were all out of the fence. I think they snuck under the, the fencing, and but they were just right up against it napping. <laughs> so we were able to herd them back in. I didn't even think to grab the camera for it, bummer. We spent some time yesterday reinforcing our fencing to make sure there's really not a gap that they can just crawl under. They love to be out in the brush. So we have not seen them up very often when we've been here. So this is actually, this is quite a treat to see them up and playing and figuring out the feed and the water. And these are all the things when we get pigs that are the, say, most worrisome because um, we use a pig nipple on a big barrel and then we have a feeder and that's not how they were being fed before. So we definitely have to make sure that they figure out how to eat and how to drink. I brought the pigs up here. Where were they before? In the brush. How'd you get them to follow or to come up here? I snorted like a pig and it worked. They and they think followed you're a me. Pig? Yes. Aw, our little pig bug. <laughs> you showed them how to find the water? At least one. All it was right. sorted to the side, but it still got some water in its mouth. That's good. If, it, if one of them figures out the water, the rest will figure it out. So that's really good. So we've had these bowls. We have a water bowl. We put some treats in the food bowl over there just some um, extra vegetable tops or bottoms or whatever scraps so looks like they're enjoying it okay and that's the feeder they have to be able to lift it up and get their little face in there <gasps> just like that oh good piggies the pig can go behind the feeder yeah well right now he can because he's little yeah it's like my turn there's two little flaps dude there's two not the one Maybe I should open up the other one too. No, they'll figure it out. They're smart. So here's our little pig jungle. We kind of have to hunt them down, make sure we have them all. Um, sometimes you can find the little paths. I think the paths were probably made by the buffalo, but the pigs use them. It's all good. Ooh, and it's a beautiful day, and we got some storms coming. I fell a drop. I did too. It's we're coming. We're getting a lot of rain today. Oh yeah. It's coming. Man. Those clouds are beautiful. We could use some rain, that's for sure, so we're not going to complain, but it might cut our day short pretty quick here. One of the things we need to clean up is like fence lines and brush. I'm starting to get rained on. So back here, you can see the two and a half acres. It is way overgrown with weeds and all sorts of crap. And pretty much this whole area all along the fence, all down this big alley back here, has just been crazy. Um, but, we were kind of having some problems, but we figured out how to get our, I think it's DR Horton brush mower working again. So Clark and I have spent some time mowing and cleaning up the fence lines and saving some trees. So here's some of what gotten done. It's hard to tell without a comparison, but these are some oaks growing in and we want to keep the oaks. You can see where we've mowed it down all along this fence line. So when Jeff does bring the mower down here, he won't have to cut it so close. Obviously, I have not made it to this fence line yet. So here's our mower, DR, Professional Power. It's an older model. We've had some work done on it to make sure it's running well for us. And um, it sure is a nice handy thing. Now, I wish it had a bigger deck, but we will take what we get. While I was mowing a few minutes ago, I found this uh, pile of sticks from when we had had um, trees cut down. And I was like, oh, forgot about those. They've gotten grown up over. We've got a gate lying down in here somewhere. So we've got some stuff we need to uncover. So I'm gonna do a little bit more mowing. Hopefully um, get a little bit more done before the rain really hits hard. But Jeff will really take care of most of this with the bat wing. We're really just trying to clean up some edges and make it easier to find things. So let's see if Clark can start the mower for us. Almost, I heard it cutting close.
find the rain, that's for sure. They're trying to see if you're really a pig or not. Yeah, they know I'm not a pig. But one, they one follow me like a, a pig. One of them took a drink? Yeah. Like, it came up on the side but still gets water. Hey guys, I'm up on the tractor and we've been um, pulling T-posts off the front of this, um, the driveway up into the property. And we've got about half of them done. So we did that the other day. For the first half today we're going to finish this half. So we're going to get a little bit of footage of what that looks like. So there's a few things I was thinking about. I'm like, one, why would we bother taking all these T posts that we bothered to put in? And then, um, so that's, there's a couple answers to that question. So as we're work, working this line, and Mari's getting this guy right here, and you look down, you can see this is, this is not a straight T post line. Um, originally, a couple years ago, we set out these T posts to give us some separation so we could start um, kind of talking about fencing this front section keeping neighbors off our property that sort of thing well we never fenced it and that so now it's just kind of here but it's not good per se so we're going to have to redo it anyways um the second reason would be um everything is really grown up way too much and we need to get in here and mow now not just here but like all the way out to the road. So if we're gonna bother mowing, we want this whole area to be mowed without any problems or restrictions with the T-posts. And I'd say the third reason we're pulling out all these T-posts <laughs> would be we can reuse these guys up in our property. So they've been super helpful for our pig pen. We did another little dog enclosure. Um, we've got things we can use them for. So it's nice to have them available up in the property instead of just sitting out here kind of just sitting, not even being attractive or cute or being a fence or anything. So we're just kind of take them back up and we're ready to do this fence. We'll get them down here and build out the fence. So we've got maybe about 10 T-posts left. We're really close and then we'll turn around and we'll collect everything as we go right back up and get this all cleaned up.
more passes than I planned on. But I've got to say, it sure looks a lot better. I feel like we've increased the roadway by like three feet. Which means probably on the right side I should do that too. But it's a start and I think it definitely helps kind of clean up that um, driveway entrance area. It'll look really good once all this is mowed down. Can you see it in there? <laughs> Yesterday we totally got rained out and um, it was supposed to be raining all day. Of course it didn't, but <laughs> we left. So now it's a lot easier maybe to see the difference between where we've mowed and where we haven't mowed. I'm gonna get close up to this fence line, go around the trees over here, um, see what I can do with this brush mower today. Clark's being awesome and helping fill up the tank again. There's a lot of cleanup to be done. And this mower isn't, isn't for big areas, but it is nice to help get close to certain areas like this. All right, we're about ready to start the mulcher. I'm gonna have Clark prime it for me. And then right in here was that stick, pile of sticks I had collected when that oak tree came down. So Clark helped me move that out of the way. So now I can actually, if I wanted to, I could continue brush mowing all of this out. So make it look nice over here. Okay, so there's one thing, and Clark had told me about it, and I knew about it, and I just never went to look at it. So there's a gate down here, because it's waiting to go on pasture for the two and a half acres, so I'm gonna pull it out. All right, so best not to mulch over this. Yeah. Okay guys, that is two passes up the fence line here. Just trying to get some brush off it. Went around the tree really good here, so that way the vines are easier to pick off and clean up. Oh, and we're starting, I was going that direction, and it just stopped driving. So the right hand handle is an accelerator to make it move, which is fabulous. However, it doesn't seem to be moving, so I'm not sure 
what I did to it. Um, so I might have Jeff look at it, his dad's in town, so he might look at it for me. Hopefully it's a pretty quick fix because there's plenty of more places I'd like to take this guy. Now, obviously I can only get so close to the fence line. So I think what I'm gonna go do is get the weed whacker with the blade and just kind of trim up the rest of this fence line edge and even down the long slope where the tractor where Jeff doesn't really want to bring down the tractor with the mower. So I'll go ahead and keep working. I'm a little disappointed right now, but you now this is some stuff that we need to keep maintained and it's good to get it done. Hopefully we can finish it out. Um, my father-in-law was able to look at the mulcher and the drive line chain um, had come undone. So we're gonna have to see what we can do about fixing that. So until then, I did go and get the weed whacker with the blade. So I did go the whole fence line um, and just kind of like cut under that bottom line. Um, so then when I come back on the other side from inside the pen, then any, anything at that fence line should be all cut out and hopefully it'll be easier to maintain the area. I mean, basically we're just cleaning up fence lines, just trying to keep things under control. When you have such a big property, maybe that's kind of unrealistic, but we gotta do our best and this is the year that we're closer so we're definitely trying to keep some handle on some of this growth. Um, we are excited for more babies. We still just have the two but I think we have a few moms getting ready to get to have a, a baby so hopefully we'll have a few more pretty quick. It's been a good day and getting some stuff cleaned up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Oh.